Uh, do we have to? Yeah. Yes, we do. All right. Look, nests. So melanocytic, right? So I'm writing a basic Durham Path Survival Guidebook, and I foolishly decided to write the um, melanocytic chapter first, and I about gave up. Um, because it's just so much and so much controversy and OMG, how can you simplify all that? So the, but I did it. I got it done. It's 45 pages long. So we'll, it's like half the book. So anyway, um, there's the nests. Okay. The nests are down the tips of elongated reedy. There's bridging between reedy to reedy. There's pink fibrosis wrapping around the nest. We will call that concentric fibrosis or lamellar fibroplasia because it's lamellar. It's like little layer after layer, like phyllo dough, right? Okay, maybe it got more interesting now. And then lymphocytes and uh, pigment oftentimes underneath. This is kind of the body's way of responding against the melanocytic lesion as it grows, okay? And I don't think there's much, maybe there is a little dermal component. Here's a little bit of intradermal melanocytes in the middle and then the junctional stuff goes out to the side. We call that shouldering when you have several reedy of junctional stuff that go out. To the, if you hold your, your arms out, you can do this at home in front of the mirror if you don't want to do it here. If the intradermal stuff's your chest, then the shoulders and upper arms are the, junk, the shoulder, okay, of the lesion. So all of those things I just described are the, the features that people say are go for what? Dysplastic nevus or Clark nevus or nevus with architectural disorder or whatever the heck you want to call these things, okay? The basic thing is some people get a bunch of atypical nevi clinically and they look like this microscopically, and those people seem to have a higher risk of melanoma. That's like the dysplastic nevus syndrome. What this means when you have occasional ones in regular people is hotly debated and probably not nearly as significant. And um, they're supposed to have some cytologic atypia, which different sources have defined as being various uh, numbers of times the size of, a, of the basal or the mid-spinous keratinocytes. And you can read all that stuff in the literature and, and decide for yourself. The most important thing is making sure it's a dysplastic nevus, not a melanoma. And once you're sure it's not a melanoma and that it's a nevus, it's probably okay. And some people grade the atypia. I do because our, our derms like it. I'm not convinced that it is meaningful or that it's even reliable, but that's how I was trained and that's how most people around me um, practice. And I would rather be pragmatic in uh, the, the name of patient care than be semantically uh, pure. But a lot of you argue that these are not probably true dysplasia in the sense that they'll evolve into cancer. Most of them probably will not evolve into melanoma. I see melanomas grow out of regular nevi more often actually than dysplastic nevi. So in my experience, but I still do use the term dysplastic nevus and I do provide a grade, but you can, I think the advice I give to my fellows is when you go into practice, don't be all dogmatic and say, well, Dr. Gardner said, who cares? Just find out what your derm's like and what your group does. And unless it's totally abhorrent to you on a moral level, try to adapt to the language that's spoken by the people taking care of the patients. And if you can speak the language that they speak and get good patient care across, I would, I think that's more important than being super meticulously accurate about what exact name you want for scientific purposes. That's just my approach. You can take it or leave it. I don't mind. I don't want you to be dogmatic. But anyway, so this is a dysplastic nevus. And I think this is a really, to me, this is a real classic good example of dysplastic nevus. In my, my chapter, I start with psi dot 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 in the dysplastic nevus section. Seriously. We'll see if the publisher will let me get away with it. But it just sums up all the ways I feel.